What is up guys, it's James from CopLogic, welcome back to the channel and uh, first of all, good morning. This is an earlier video than we would ever normally do but we are obviously looming on that deadline now for the transfers and we've actually had some substantial transfer news that could change throughout the next 24 hours, hopefully it does which is why I'm doing this early. Fingers crossed it's positive changes, but let's get into the news. So last night it was reported by Chris Bascom that Liverpool have made a formal approach for Ryan Gravenberg of Bayern Munich. A fee of around 35 million could be enough to secure his signature before the deadline. This was later followed up by Paul Joyce stating that Liverpool are pushing to sign Ryan Gravenberg. Negotiations have so far been back and forth, so the clubs are talking to each other. Between the two clubs, it is thought Bayern are seeking more than 35 million. So we're not really sure on this price right now because Chris Bascom was reporting that 35 million could be enough sounds like from Paul Joyce Bayern Munich want more than the 35 million I think 35 million if it's not too much more than that it's a decent price whether you think that's overpriced or not if you look at the current climate of players in today's market 35 million wouldn't even get you a championship player at this rate so I don't think 35 million is too bad honestly interestingly Florian Plettenberg reported that Bayern have agreed personal terms with Jao Polina of Fulham and an agreement between the clubs is basically all that remains to get that deal over the line now I would say if Bayern are looking at buying Jao Polina, i.e. bringing in more midfield reinforcements, there is a very high potential that they are going to be willing to sell Ryan Gravenberg. So that's definitely good news for us in terms of getting Ryan Gravenberg over the line. I think they are probably looking to get more bodies into midfield because they're going to shift one. That's definitely promising news and lines up with the reports that we've been discussing already, talks back and forth with Bayern Munich. So Paul Joyce goes on to say that Jörg Schmatke will attempt to broker an agreement with Bayern for Gravenberg before Friday's deadline. It would be nice if he could do that because he hasn't actually negotiated anything up to this stage. The only players he's brought in have been release clauses and the two negotiations he's attempted in Lavia and Caicedo have failed. So it would be nice if he could do something for us before he moves on. It's, all, it's worth mentioning as well in the same Paul Joyce article he also said that an offer of 120 million for Mo Salah would not even present Liverpool with a conundrum they remain adamant Salah is not for sale I thought I'd throw that in there because it's a little bit of good news if anyone is still worried about Mohamed Salah obviously the Saudi window is going to be open for a further two weeks after ours closes so expect this story to keep going for another two weeks but I'm personally not worried I really can't see Salah leaving in this window and that news there just reinforces that so I thought I'd mention it. Finally, Neil Jones confirms the Gravenberg story, saying Liverpool are expected to firm up their interest with a formal offer in the next 24 hours. So hopefully at some point today, we will see Liverpool make an offer. And if it's close enough to what Bayern Munich wants with the looming deadline, we could hopefully even see this deal wrapped up within the next 24 hours, fingers crossed. I don't think Gravenberg is enough. I still think we need more reinforcements, but we'll get onto that in a second. Just to quickly talk about Gravenberg, he does mainly play as a central midfielder, but he can play as a defensive midfielder. Midfielder. I think that's where he would be utilized in this Liverpool side, rotating with Endo and Bashetic. And the fact that he obviously can play as a central midfielder as well gives us a little bit of versatility, a little bit of options there in the rest of the midfield alongside Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott, and of course the main men, Sobosly and McAllister. He's only 21 years of age, so he's young, he's one for the future. And we know Jurgen Klopp has had his eye on him for a while now, been a big admirer of him. So he's a player Jurgen Klopp wants through the door. Definitely would be a good deal to get done. I do think the Corey was the answer for us in this window in terms of a ready-to-go player with the Premier League experience and all of that. But I can see the appeal here of Gravenberg with the versatility, the young age, and he's a player that Jurgen Klopp wants. So if the manager wants him, I'm always an advocate that we should go and get the player the manager wants. But I do just want to reinforce that I don't think this is enough. I still think Liverpool need to move on a centre-back. We've already seen the situation over the weekend. The fact that Kwanzaa has already played a game in the Premier League is crazy. The fact that we might be starting a game this weekend with Joe Gomez and Joel Matip just shows how thin we are for centre-backs and we know that Matip and Gomez are both injury prone so we could be one I think Jake said it in the last video we could be one bad tackle away from having to field God knows at this point it's probably is Kwanzaa because Nat Phillips looking like he wants to go out on potentially loan to Celtic so definitely think we need a centre-back but it's good news about Gravenberg either way make sure you get your comments in on the video what you think about this deal do you think it's going to be enough and if not what are you expecting to see do you want another midfielder or or do you want the centre-back? I think the centre-back is a must at this point, to be honest. Let us know what targets you'd be looking at. And as always, if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a like. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on in this transfer window, especially with that looming deadline day, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you don't miss a thing. As always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.